Hey Send friends, if you've got a bioactive setup or even just a standard enclosure, chances are you're sharing that space with more than just your scaly friend. Let's dive into the world of common reptile enclosure pests separating the helpful from the harmful and how to manage them. Springtails. These tiny white critters look like they're always hopping on a trampoline. Springtails are your enclosure's natural cleaning crew munching on mold, decaying matter, and waste. They might have hitchhiked on a new plant or in your substrate, and they're definitely a sign of a healthy ecosystem. Fungus gnats. These small flies are mostly a nuisance. They're drawn to moisture and can come in a damp substrate or from overwatered plants. Letting your enclosure dry out a bit can eliminate them, but if that's not an option, beneficial nematodes are a great natural solution. Isopods. Think of these guys as tiny armored recyclers. Isopods come in all shapes and sizes and they love feasting on leftover food or plant matter. They often come in intentionally in bioactive setups and they're a fantastic addition. Grain mites. Normally harmless, these microscopic mites thrive in damp conditions. They may arrive on food or damp substrate. Reduced humidity usually keeps them in check, but a major infestation might need diatomaceous earth sprinkled on the soil. Parasitic mites. These are the true bad guys. Parasitic mites will appear as tiny red or black dots on your reptile skin. They suck blood, can transmit diseases, and often come in on a new unquarantined reptile. If you spot these, a vet visit is absolutely necessary for treatment. Remember, a balanced enclosure is key to a happy, healthy reptile. Understanding the critters you're sharing your pet's home helps you spot potential problems early. Appreciate the beneficial bugs and manage the ones that need some control. 